What's going on, you guys? Aaron here from Project Capital. Good morning. It's 10.02. We're ready for our stream. How's everybody doing? Just give me two seconds here to set up a few things. I just want to pull up my comments and then we're going to be good to go. I just want to post this link in um, our, on our social media. We're seeing a green day. We're having a bounce today. Don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you so much, guys. We'll be right, we'll be right to this stream. So, one second. All right. Oh shoot. How's everybody doing this morning? What's up, Nevada Tucker? I was hoping we could see ACB at 9:50. Not today. All right, just got to post this. Might as well tag ACB. <laughs> sure. All right, stock twits. For anybody who has stock twits, follow us on stock twits and Discord. No. There we go, and Facebook. Perfect, all done. Okay, so, first thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that we're getting a bounce by Air Transat. Why is ACB going up? Well, we'll take a look at that. What's up, Mark? Yeah, ACB's up 4%. We're back over 10 bucks. That's pretty much expected, though. Markets bounce. ACB's going to bounce, too. So not surprised on that one. Wall Street rises as possibility of fate. Fate. Fed rate. Cut in focus. Wall Street rebounded on Tuesday after the Fed suggested a rate cut could be possible in response to slow economic growth and trade tensions. Blah, 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 blah. Tech stocks were higher. Apple, Tesla gaining 1.5%. Amazon inching up 0.03%. BAC rose 2.3%. Uh, gold futures were flat at 1327. Gold's had a really awesome, awesome run so far. What's up, Sheldon? Tilray is gunning today. Yeah, so let's uh, let's take a look. Let's, let's take a look and see what we got on the move today. Back to the canvas sector. Let's go straight into it. Do you think ACP is going to go back down to 950 after this run? I don't know. It's hard to say. I personally am not going to add until it goes to 950 or below, and I'm going to stick with that. If I don't get to add to it, that's just the way it goes. So, BGRD up 23%. Green Growth Brands. Green Growth Brands just announced something, actually. They sent me an email. Green Growth Brands continues rapid expansion through agreement to acquire Florida based. Spring Oaks. What was that noise? <laughs> the company executed an arm's length definitive agreement to acquire Spring Oaks greenhouses. Interesting. Take a look at that in a sec. ICC International Cannabis. Up a bit. <laughs> Water's making a bit of a bounce. I want to look at safe 360 risk is flat today at 28 cents ignite brands dan, <laughs> dan bilzerian's company biggest decliner on the day tilt holdings down another 4.6 percent what happened to our music here come on what's going on 
computer ran out of internet. One sec, guys. Let's reload that. Hold up a second. What the heck? Good morning, Lils. Why is 360 so cheap? The Q1 was off the charts. What's going on? Snow safer. Nope. There we go. Good morning, Maurice. Thank you for tuning in. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Seneva still declining another 3%. There's one to look at. James E. Wagner down to 78 cents. All right, so just a couple companies in this portfolio to look at. Another thing I want to quickly take a look at. Our top three stocks for June just put... Our top three stocks for June just dipped into the green. So today we're getting, we're seeing Fortuna sell off half a percent, but we're seeing Alibaba and First Quantum Minerals continue to run. First Quantum was actually a good buy under, under 10 bucks. Why does this thing keep shutting off? Sorry. Craziness. Give me one second. Come on, no more power saving mode, there we go. All right. Now we just wanna check in on a couple more things like the copper miners. We're seeing a run for First Quantum, Turquoise Hill, and Copper Mountain Mining. Actually a pretty good day for copper. Defensive stocks, uh, we are seeing the retirement homes stay in the green, which is good to see. I still have that retirement home video, so I might consider dropping that later today. Let me know if you guys wanna see that video about those retirement home defensive long-term dividend stocks. Thank you guys, yeah, smash that like button. Appreciate it. Gold miners. Stocks for 2019, all right. FSD Pharma up one cent. JD.com. This is one company that I haven't looked at in a while. Yeah, I've recorded that video. I've just been waiting for the right time to post it, so. Maybe, yeah, I'll drop that like in the middle of the day today, probably something like that. If you want to see that one. Cool. Okay, let's, let's take a look at a few of these ones. Don't have too many companies to look at today. 360, zero volume, what's going on today? Three sixty at twenty eight cents. We'll have to see what the plan is today. I don't. We might brands down fifteen percent. Look at that pump and dump. I want a video on retirement homes, but I want your take on top three to five stock stocks in USA, MJ. You think we'll have biggest gains in 2019, 2020? I know what mine are, just curious your opinion. It's the police. <laughs> nah, I think that was an ambulance, actually. 
Top three to five stocks. Seneva is definitely going to be one of them. Yep. I'm happy to see Seneva in there. Tilt cheap as hell. I'd also have to say C-Web. C-Web's cheap now. And they're an uh, awesome play on hemp. Look at that decline. The stock went from 32 to 17. Tilt had a massive sell-off too, though, so it's a tough one. That's a good video, though. I should probably put something like that out. Anyways, BDB Real Estate Trust this is awesome 9% dividend yield. Considering adding a little bit to this one. I'm thinking about taking some profits on this one today and then I can finally buy up a bunch of those companies that declined so heavily over the past couple days. I'll let you guys know what I do. I'm more than likely going to dump this. Wheat and precious metals. So as soon as I get off this stream, I'll probably end up making those trades. All right, guys, so let's check a few more things. See what the news is on new cannabis ventures. Large LPs lead Canadian cannabis producers lower in May. We pretty much knew that. Green Grill Brands enters Florida market with $55 million acquisition. Cannabis stocks retreat in May. What do you think of IMT news today? I didn't check. Let's see what IMT is up to. If you have the link, feel free to post it. Still have our position in IMT. It's up 10%. Oh, what the heck is this? Here we go. One Toro sees 3D magnetic inversion and preliminary report on its rare earth project and increases its land holdings by 20% in Wichita, North BC, Canada. Further to our news release on May 1st, pleased to report Campbell and Walker Geophysics of North BC has completed a 3D magnetic inversion two magnetically anomalous zones which are recommended for further ground investigation. Da -da -da -da. A report of geological inversion work is scheduled for delivery first week of June. So more news to come. Well the stock's up 10% so that's a that's a positive. I'll have to look more into it. Mad Men is good mid to long term investment Aurora's up today do you think it will fall back I sold yesterday but I want to but I want to get back in Aurora hard to say I mean they're talking about lower interest rates so that could support the markets for now S&P's up 0.9 uh, S&P's up 1 full percent now We'll see. It could just be a short-term bounce. Why does this keep turning off? It's so annoying. I like USA Cannabis a lot. USA Cannabis companies are already making two times revenue. Well, the next wave will probably be USA Cannabis companies. Let's go. the second time but yeah anyways let's see here real quick we are getting somewhat of a bounce today it's a nice it's a nice green day but yeah 
I don't know. I think it could be a dead cat bounce. We'll see if we hold on to these gains today. One week. Let's check the one week. Mm. I mean, I'm not really buying in. I'm not really buying it. I do want to add to some positions, that's for sure. But I'm not like. I don't think the worst is over for the markets. Let's check in on commodities. Gold's actually holding its ground up 0.15%. Crude oil's still getting hammered. That must have put crude oil in a bear market today. Crude oil down to 52.73. I believe crude has now dropped 20% since its peak in the last month. So that technically puts crude oil in a bear market. But yeah, we'll see if we hold on to those gains today. I'd like to see the market roll over, but that's just me being bearish. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so cannabis stocks retreat. In May, after a 57% rebound in Q1, followed by a narrow decline in April, cannabis stocks declined 13.3%. We, we know this, bucking the downturn with positive returns were namaste until they released their quarter. Yesterday, the stock dropped a lot. 48 North, Scott's Miracle, Grow, GW Pharma. Tilt declined 35%. Kieran Life down 31%. C-Web down 31%. Yep. We knew this. Declining 9.7%. So the large cap Canadian index led cannabis stocks lower. We knew this. Okay, so here we go. North Flower Labs and NEP. And then the biggest... Loser. G E N E. <laughs> What's up, Joe? Thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate that support. Let me know if there's anything you want to look at. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. I am trying to make the channel more professional <clears throat> because um, I want to improve our brand image and then eventually land bigger clients so we can do more interviews and stuff like that. So it all starts with uh, rebranding, making things look a little bit better. So you can keep it simple. One sec, I will change this filter though. You notice we're getting some pixelation there on my microphone. Perfect. All right. It starts with free alien, of course. <laughs> Green Thumb Industries. Here, let me look at that. I liquidated my portfolio, went in, you know, all in on BTC trading, just wanted to show some love. <clears throat> Appreciate that, Joe. Thank you. How has that Bitcoin trading been going? Hope it's going well for you. Drink your tea from a white paper cup. Keep us guessing. That's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> IMTL, yes, Kenny. So we did see, receive some good news for IMT. Stock's up 10%. And it, seem, it seems like we'll get more news very soon. M Marek Berner. Yeah, totally. You can send a message on Discord. If you have Discord. I can just... Uh, give me one sec. I'll... I'll give you the link to our 
this thing loads. Give me one sec. I just need to share this. Let's go. All right. There you go. Feel free to click that link. You can join our Discord. Send me a message if you want. Also, if you guys want any of my watch lists, I'll send it to you on Discord. Don't forget to hit that like button too. It's right here. Green Thumb Industries. Formerly Basewater Uranium Corporation, cannabis cultivator, dispensary operator, and consumer packaged goods company. Haven't looked into Green Thumb in a little while. Nice little pullback to 15 bucks. Pretty big company, 1.26 billion. It's looking pretty good. <clears throat> I haven't done too much research about this one. So let me look into that a bit more at a later time. A few more things I want to quickly look at. So this is our big watch list, stocks for 2019. Chinese stocks are still barely catching a bounce. Alibaba's at 152. There's so many companies I want to add to though. Suniva, 48 North, nah, 48 North. I'll have to put out the top three, <clears throat> top three to five stocks video though. It's top three to five cannabis stocks because now I think, uh, now I think it's the time to start looking at some of them. Are you drinking from a half kiwi right now? <laughs> um, yeah, no, nah, this is... Uh, looks like it. <laughs> half kiwi. No, man, this is a clay cup. This is a little clay cup. A little clay Chinese teacup. That'd be hilarious. Those China stocks are spicy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, they've had their ups and downs. Ten cent. Ooh, ten cent. Ten cents down another two percent. We're down to forty-one bucks for ten cent. I like ten cent. Only thing Chinese on this show. Ten cents had a nice pullback. At forty-one bucks, ten cent looks pretty good, dude. Yes, you should definitely do USA Cannabis video to support your homies in the states. Of course, I think to be honest, I get more views from the states, so that's probably a good idea. I also get a lot of people commenting on my videos saying, "What the hell, man? Aurora Cannabis, ten bucks? How old is this video?" And I'm just like, we're in Canada here. Come on. <laughs> Brookfield Real Estate. Oh, this is one I want to add to. Got to add some of this today. Got to sell wheat and precious metals today. There's just so many. Stocks that I want to buy, so we're going to have to make some trades today. I'll let you guys know what we do. I'm definitely going to sell wheat and precious metals today and buy up a bunch of these, bunch of these uh, ones. You know what? Let's make a new watch list. Sorry, sorry, Robert. I know, man. My response always is, ACB started in Canada. I'm Canadian. What do you want? <laughs> USA will have our year in 2020. Jason, that's uh, so, watch June watch list here. What we'll do is we'll make a June watch list right now, um, and then we're going to see which ones I want to look at. Let's start with Suniva, safe. Probably add a 
tiny bit to these ones today. <laughs> oh, totally. No, I, I agree, man. Um, the thing is, Aurora Cannabis, like it is personally my biggest holding, but at the same time, it, it gets so many views on YouTube. That's the thing. So talking about a super popular company, like I didn't, I didn't personally know that Aurora Cannabis was going to get the most views, but it just so happens to be that it's my biggest holding. <laughs> but um, it could have, it could have easily just, it could have been Canopy, it could have been Kronos, it could have been Cantrust, but it just so happened to be that ACB gets the most amount of views on YouTube. So yeah, we were just we we're talking about it. But anyways, yeah, it's time to uh, date some U.S. weed companies. Yeah, I agree. So C Web, come on, let's go. What's going on here? This thing, man. The Motley Fool just put a virus on our computer. Look at this, guys. What is going on here? I'm trying to put my watch list together. And the Motley Fool just comes out of nowhere, opening up two tabs. What in the hell? All right. ACB Lever. Okay, going back to our June watch list. Thank you. C-Web. What is going on with um, Micron Waste Technologies, too? Micron Waste Technologies. Did I screw that up? What the heck? Okay, so whatever. Um, so. Gotta add MedMen, unfortunately. Still declining. And Tilt. I'll probably throw another 500 bucks in those. Just, just cause. I'll probably throw like 500 bucks into Tilt. Just for, just for fun. Cause uh, it's, it's dropped from like three bucks down to a buck 40. Top three American weed stocks, Cura, True Leaf, C Web. Those are three great picks. I'm gonna have to add Ceneva in into there somewhere. <clears throat> so I definitely think C Web's one of them. Cura and True Leaf. I haven't looked at those for a while. I don't know where they currently sit. Fortuna Silver Mines. FVI. There's just so many companies. Damn, guys. What I'll do is I'll just put this together, complete it, and then um, let you know what I end up buying. I'm just going to take a look at the portfolio because I've got a bunch of positions to add to. Some positions are down substantially. Friggin' Wayland. Wayland's another one that's just doing nothing water add to water around two bucks yeah I think that's not a bad idea water is making a 5.7 percent bounce today up to 220 so coke Pepsi and Pfizer are coming up with something I hope so man I hope so that'd be great for ACB but anyways We'll add to that watch list as time goes on, on the month of June. Definitely going to be doing a little bit of rebalancing. Did we have anyone in the group? No. I found you through ACB, liked your style, even made a little money off some of your picks. $400 off Activision when you brought it up. Yeah, I like to talk about, thank you, first off, thank you, Jacob. <laughs> Not all my picks have been winners, though, because if it was, I probably, if they were, I probably wouldn't be on YouTube. <laughs> but, 
But um, yeah, thanks for that. I like to talk about good companies when they start to go down. And I like to talk about long-term dividend paying companies. I think Activision was like a pick that just circulated throughout the community. I forget when I started talking about it. I must have read like an article on it or something. I looked more into it. I definitely believe in the video game industry though. <laughs> Whoa. Got some dust up in here. Alright, let's look at a few dividend payers. Brookfield Real Estate is on my list. Brookfield Real Estate is now yielding how much? <laughs> Brookfield Real Estate is now yielding 8.15%. I made $1,000 in three days from EA. Nice. Good stuff. So, all right. I'm definitely going to make that trade today. Let you guys know what we buy up. Probably some cheap cannabis stocks and maybe a few dividend payers. I would, wouldn't mind adding to something like BDB Real Estate Trust. This thing's yielding 9%. I believe they pay monthly too. That's pretty awesome. Pretty tempted to buy this. Make a US company's list for when US goes legal. All right, sounds good. This thing only dipped to 430 when the market basically fell apart. So I don't know how low this thing's gonna go. Look at this thing. Basically hasn't done anything. I think they just pay out most of their profit and dividends but it looks all right right now. What's up, Max? You're still around, okay. What's going on? <laughs> Hello, Max. Hope you're having a better day, buddy. Hang in there. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I just for, Ford? Fired? Fired your real estate agent? Fired, yeah, yeah, fired. Yeah, man, just wait a bit. Get the house back up. Get, get the house back up on the market when there's less inventory. By the sounds of it, this is bad timing. Um, what are we looking at here? Why don't we check top gainers, top losers? We'll just check this real quick. Nothing that we really care about. Sierra International, <laughs> Yangtze Riverport. Top losers. Usually wait for a reversal confirmation or try to buy a key support. Yeah, man. I sold my condo. I turned into hobo in two weeks for real. Jesus, that's hilarious. Maurice, okay. Uh, what was I going to say? Compound, where's your condo at? It's time for some more tea. Why is Brookfield Real Estate for you, but bridge mark for me when I look it up? Great question, actually. I noticed that, I noticed that, um, they, something changed. Something definitely changed because I checked the portfolio and I noticed that Bridgemark, you, what you said, Bridgemark was, uh, the name 
and I saw zero shares listed for Brookfield Real Estate. Let me check that. Let me let me Google that. Actually, that's a good. Uh, one sec. Good question. What the hell's going on here? <clears throat> What's Google got going on today? Oh, celebrating 50 years of LGBTQ history. I see. Uh, shoot. What were we looking up? Oh yeah, Brookfield. Brookfield Real Estate and Bridge Mark, something like that. Bridge Mark Real Estate Services. All oh, completes name change. Here we go. May 27, 2019. This is what we're looking at. Bridge Mark Real Estate Services. So I think we're talking about two different things here. Let's go. Brookfield Real Estate Services doing business as Bridgemark Real Estate Services. Through its relationship with Bridgemark Real Estate Services, <clears throat> the leading provider of residential real estate brokers. Okay, so, yeah, so Brookfield Real Estate. There's two. There's Brookfield Real Estate and Brookfield Real Estate Services. Brookfield Real Estate Services which is now Bridgemark Real Estate Services. They do like the real estate brokerages, but Brookfield Real Estate is a real estate investment trust. So two different things. Heck yeah, dude, the van life is super unique. Make the most out of it. Oh, gotta visit Vancouver one day. So, markets continue to rally. Fairly green day today. I did expect a bounce eventually. It was pretty much inevitable. Up 1.16%. But of course, they'd be talking about lower interest rates. All right, so ELLXF. Elixinol Global. If it's pharma, oh, Australia-based company owns and operates hemp and medical cannabis industries, focused on developing, manufacturing, and distributing industrial hemp products, early stage medical cannabis. I don't know much about the Australian market, but that's a cool one to watch. <laughs> you can send me another message on Instagram on Instagram Maurice about that. <laughs> That's funny. Todd Harrison likes to them Alan Bornstein Borstein. <laughs> e L L X F. I wanna add this to the watch list real quick. <laughs> Have not Space industry getting a boost in the years to come. That'd be pretty cool. That's why you went silent, Max. Max went silent for a while. When Max goes silent, he's up to something. <laughs> All right, let's add that. Nice. Fortinos. Fortinos is the spot for Max. All right. Got to get back to that one ticker, E-L-L-X-F. I want to add that E-L-L-X-F. Thank you for that. Cali Therapeutics, five and a half cents. Yuck. Man, Kiron keeps going up two days in a row, 5%. Pump 
pump might be a good buy again. Pump it up. 12 cents. Ooh, pumps down to 12 cents. Compound interest. Send me some of that music. I'll play it on the next stream. <laughs> I'll play your song in the background. <laughs> Anyways, let's get rid of some of these tabs. We don't have too much more to go here, guys. Could you look at, could you look at Parentum? Good morning, Laura. How are you doing today? Don't get too excited, guys. <laughs> All right. My house was listed for 45 days. One offer. Sometimes that's what it takes. You got to switch your agent. <laughs> That's good, Laura. What's what do you got cooking today? I know you like to cook. <laughs> uh -huh. Hopefully, yeah. Make sure that when you list though, Max, make sure that just always check the inventory. I'd say the first week is super crucial to any kind of listing. If you price it right and the market's good, it should sell. But you said there's five houses for sale on your street. That's crappy competition. That's annoying. HMJ is a home run, tens of billions of revenue projected, and dividends holds five to ten. <laughs> Good one. Just jumped in. You talk about water long. Just read good news holding 4,000 shares at 340. Yeah, so. Actually, water is one of those stocks I really want to add to today after I sell a little bit. I didn't read the news for water, but if there is news, feel free to post it. I'll try and search it up right now real quick. Wow, water is up 8.1%. Nice. There we go. Thank you. Support from Montreal. Thank you, Quick Play. I appreciate that. Always trying. What's what is this? Is this your stuff? Okay, we'll check that out in a little bit. I'll have to take I'll have to take that link down. Thank you. I'll watch it as soon as I get off stream. But anyways, I wanna I do want to wrap this up though, and I want to see. What's going on with Alkaline Water Company? Reports record monthly sales of 3.8 million. All right, so this is the last thing we're going to talk about. Rank the fastest growing alkaline water brand in the U.S., a leading producer of premium bottled alkaline drinking water. Recorded monthly sales of 3.8 million achieved. It's my pleasure to report our flagship product, Alkaline 88, received sales of 3.8 million. 1,100 new convenience stores. Northeastern sales up over 100%. Walmart sales growing by 29%. Good day for water. The stock's reacting good. It's up 8%. About time. <laughs> yes, I know. Aren't we all? I'm hoping for a resurrection of many different companies. <laughs> Still long and strong water. Might add some, although ugh, it's annoying adding some water today when it's up 8% after, you know, it just, it feels so much better buying it in the red. So we'll see. We'll see what I end up buying. I'll let you guys know for sure. Redmond currently at $1.96 US. 
I'll take a look at that in a sec, but I'm going to head out, guys. That's it for the stream today. It is a green day. We'll be doing that recap video, and I'll release that video on retirement stocks and dividend, long-term dividend stocks very shortly. So thank you so much for tuning in. Boy, you trash comes out of nowhere. All right. Yeah, so we're out of here, guys. And you too, have a great day, Max, and everybody else. Hit that like button on the way out. I'm out of here. Bye-bye, guys.